Rick Sky here back again with another Phantom 2 Vision tutorial. Now what I want to explain today is how to pair the, uh, well you got your Wi-Fi extender here, you've got your remote, and then you've got your DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus with the battery inside of it. And then you've got your either your iPhone or your Android. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pair, you're going to want to make sure that everything is synced up. So the first thing you're going to do you're going to power on your your uh, Wi-Fi extender, obviously making sure it's fully charged first. If it's not, you need to do that. You're going to then need to power on your remote. If you have not inserted the AA batteries, you need to do that first. So power on. Uh, now that that's powered on, uh, then you can power on your your Phantom. Now, if you push you push it once and then you hold it down for a couple seconds. I don't think I held it down long enough. Oh, well, let's see here. Okay, so that's how you do it. It's a little bit different than the uh, than the 1.1.1. So what you do, just like the instructions say, you do one quick tap of the power button. That's going to cause it to light up. Immediately after you do the quick tap, you hold it in for about two seconds or so, and that's going to cause all these lights and everything to come on like you're seeing now. Now, obviously, I'm indoors, uh, so I won't, uh, I don't have the propellers attached. The next thing I'm doing from my iPhone that's in my hand, I'm going into settings, and now I'm going to Wi Fi, and then I see an access point called phantom underscore blah blah blah. I'm selecting that. It's connecting by way of Wi-Fi to my, okay now my iPhone is connected by way of Wi-Fi to the uh, to the phantom. I'm going to turn this around so the camera is facing me. I still have the lens cover on the camera. Uh, the next step I'm going to launch my DJI Vision app which I downloaded from the App Store on uh, on my iPhone. Now once I'm in the app on my iPhone I go to camera. It says DJI Vision would like to use your current location. I'll say OK. And then everything works. I can see and I'm taking the lens cover off. I just took the lens cover off and I can I can see what the camera sees within my app on my phone. So from a ready to fly perspective, uh, once you see all of this, uh, you will know that your uh, that your phantom is ready to fly. Look at that, and when you tilt it around, the gimbal is constantly keeping that everything silky smooth for you and what's cool is that I'm looking at and you can check out my other videos where I'm actually flying this but I'm looking at this right now on my uh, iPhone indoors and it's just it's absolutely incredible so check out the link within this video description you can find a link to where you can order uh, this DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus online as well as a plethora of videos that I'm posting for the uh, for the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. So I'm going to step through everything, every tutorial. If you don't see a video and you're curious about it, just ask me, and uh, I'll certainly do my best to respond. You can contact me directly by going to irixguy.com. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, since I've ensured that everything pairs up properly, I'm going to turn everything off. So I'm going to turn off my Phantom 2 Vision Plus. I pushed it once quickly, and then I'm going to hold it down for like two seconds. You can see all the lights went off, and everything is uh, everything is powered off now. 
Uh, then I will power off my remote. Always good practice, even indoors, to power off your, your Phantom before the remote because you don't want to trigger any sort of unexpected return to home flight pattern. Now I'll turn off my Wi-Fi range extender and we're, we're rocking and rolling. So uh, that, that is how to, how to set up And notice that I put my lens cap back on because anytime your camera is not in use it's it's the best idea to keep it protected and likewise if you're transporting it keep this piece that came with it because you can install it during uh, during transport so your so your gimbal doesn't move around abruptly on an airplane or whatever thanks for watching share this video with others subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixcap y'all have a good day